All right, what I have here is not all of this meat is gonna go in the mixture. Uh, I'll use about half of this because the recipe calls for about a pound and a quarter. And it could either be a mixture of beef and turkey or beef and chicken or beef, well, actually beef and pork or just all beef. And that's what I'm gonna use, half of this. This is about two pound, two and a half pounds. And I'm gonna be using half of it. Okay, and then about a half a cup of green pepper. This is a little bit more diced up rather small. And these are the seasonings going in. It is a tablespoon of beef bouillon. You can either use two small cubes or I use this beef bouillon uh, sauce. I like it. This is what I've started using uh, for my bouillon and I really like that a lot. Okay, and then half a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic. I don't have real, I have dry. And then half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, and then two eggs that I'm gonna be beating up before I put in the mixture. Half a cup of uh, diced up onion, and it, it's more than half a cup, but not, not too much over that. A small can of tomato paste. This is a six ounce can. I will use some breadcrumbs um, just as a filler as I'm mixing everything up. You're gonna use a tablespoon a tablespoon of this Worcestershire sauce and what else a bag of this Lipton's onion soup mix that's going into the mixture as well so let me get everything all mixed up here and I'll show you when I have that all done I just wanted to bring it back and show you that this is what it looks like when everything is all in the bowl together and you just add everything in there that all the ingredients go into this bowl right now all at once and then you get in there with clean hands or gloved hands and start smushing it all together that's what it takes okay and i did not beat my eggs up ahead of time i usually don't i don't know why i thought i was going to this time because my routine is you just dump it all in and then smush it as it goes so let me finish this and I'll bring it back to show you the next step. All right, we have this all mixed nicely together. I did end up adding just a little bit more bread come in there, not even a quarter of a cup, not even close to that. Probably a couple tablespoons of breadcrumbs went into this. And now I'm getting ready to make it into the little loaves. And I will bring you back when I've got the loaves all made and have put them into the cooking dish. Where I'm gonna cook this is in my uh, air fryer. I'll bring it back for that. All right, these are two little meatloafs that I'm gonna end up putting in freezer wrap and freezing them for a couple of weeks for another meal. So that's done. And then I have the two loaves all ready to go in a, a baking dish that I put in my air fryer. They're gonna be air fried. And you air fry at 350 for about 30 minutes, but I usually check it after 10 or 15 minutes, make sure everything is going okay, and I may even flip these over. That's how I do it. Directions are 350 for 30 minutes, turning every 10 minutes or so until the meat is done to your liking, and we like our meats done very well. Um, no, don't put anything on top. William does not like that. No cheese, no ketchup, no tomato sauce. It's, it's, it's pretty plain, but we like it this way. You can add that stuff if you would like. But right now, we're going over to the air fryer. So these are going in the air fryer. And I'm going to set it for the 30 minutes. But I'll be back here to double check on things. And at about 350, okay? My air fryer is a Paula Deen. It's probably about a year old now. Also, let me just tell you that this Idahoan Real Premium Mashed Potatoes in a can in a box here, I got this at Sam's the last time I was there. We fixed it a couple times and we like it a lot. So these are the directions right on the box that you mix up, the that you use, and that's what we're having for supper tonight. So I've got that on the stove, boiling up the milk and the water and the butter. Then I'm gonna add the dry potato mix to that and it tastes like real potatoes. I think it's just dehydrated. And then we're gonna have green beans out of a can. I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, I've just taken the 
little meatloafs out of the air fryer. It's been about 10 minutes and they're getting very nicely done here so I'm going to flip them over and I, I need to have two hands to do that so I'm going to put the camera down here for a minute and show you when I turn them over and put them back in. might not look any different to you but it's a little raw on this side so back in for about 10 more minutes and I'll be back to check it at that time. Maybe turn it over one more time. We'll see. All right, dinner is done. And <laughs> William has already got started on his. But this is the mini meatloaf, air fried, green beans, mashed potatoes, and I'll be putting some salt and pepper on that too. But I'm doing this dinner for hashtag meatloaf wars that the Lala Farms has started. So go over and check that out. There's a playlist going now of everybody making their meatloaf. So go over to Lala Farms and check out their playlist because there's a lot of other people putting their meatloafs on that uh, playlist. Check it out. Good recipes. And also, I air fried my meatloaf. So I'm referring back to hashtag let's air fry, which Angie at Life and More Reloaded has started a playlist for that. Go over and check out her playlist as well. There's a lot of people um, collaborating on that and entering their recipes and what they've cooked in the air fryer. I love using my air fryer. I use it whenever I can. So anyway, let me get going here and I'm going to go eat. But go check those collabs out. Hashtag Meatloaf Wars and hashtag Let's Air Fry. And I will link those below. What do you think of it, William? I like it. And that's, that's all? What do you want? Golden star on your forehead? <laughs> Brat. <laughs> but you like it. You'd have it again? Yeah. Okay. That's mini meatloaves. We'll let William get back to his eating dinner now.